Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about approximating area under a curve. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here y equals x squared plus 3, and we had the interval from negative 3 to 1, and we need to find four left endpoint rectangles that approximates the area under the curve. Now, the first thing I want to do is find the width of each rectangle. So to do that, I'll call it w. I take, well, my right endpoint of my domain here, 1 minus the first part, negative 3, and divide it by the number of rectangles, which is 4. Pretty easy. Uh, 1 minus the negative 3 is plus a positive 3, so we have a 4 over 4, which is 1. This actually makes it easy. Each one of our rectangles, clearly, as you can see, is 1. So let's go make a table now. Okay. Now we have a left endpoint there. So we start at our most left point of the domain here, negative 3, and we go by each width that we found. All right. So we have four of them total, so we go width of 1, uh, width of 1, so negative 3 plus 1 is a negative 2, add 1, negative 1, then a 0. Then if we, if we went one more, we would have the right uh, end point of our domain, which is 1. So we have our x values here. Okay, We need to find uh, the corresponding y values. So what I do is I take that negative 3 and plug it back into my original equation. Negative 3 goes in, outputs a 12. Negative 2 goes in, outputs a 7. Negative 1 goes in, we get a 4. And when 0 goes into our original equation, we get a 3. All right. So what does that tell us? Well, right now we have the y value, the height, really, of each rectangle right, on the left end point of each rectangle. We got that. Now we need to find the area of each rectangle. Okay. We multiply to get that area, we take that height that we found that we're going to be using and multiply it by the width, right? So we take that height, the y times the width. Well, the width is just one here, and so really just, you know, note here, multiplying by one. And so really we just rewrite the y values 12, 7, 4, 3. And that gives us the area of each rectangle. So to find the overall area under the curve, with this approximation, we add them up. When you add up 12, 7, 4, and 3, you get a 26. And that's it. The area under the curve, given four left endpoint rectangles, is a 26. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math.